Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all having a great week and a productive Wednesday. We hit 2000 subscribers the other day and I just want to say thank you guys so much. For anyone that's new or has been sticking around with this channel, I appreciate you guys subbing and supporting my work. As I've mentioned before, I do have an Instagram and a TikTok which you can find here or here. So this video is going to be a fun one. We're going to go over how to do this freeze frame mask zoom transition that you can use to zoom into glasses or frankly any shape that you want to. We're going to make it super straightforward and easy for you guys to understand. I'm going to walk you step by step through each step of the process. There are a few ways for you to implement this transition. So I want to show you guys a few different ways and walk you through two different examples that I have here. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the transition. So we're going to start off with these two clips here. I'm going to be using the sunglasses on this guy to transition into this shot. So we're going to go ahead and highlight both of these, right click and replace with an After Effects composition. So now that we're in After Effects, go ahead and drag your playhead all the way out to one frame before the end of this clip here and duplicate it. Then we're going to right click and create a freeze frame here shorten this just to the freeze frame area here we're going to go ahead and drag this freeze frame however long we want the transition to be i'm going to do like five or six frames for this one now we need to create the mask around the glasses so i'm going to zoom in using the scroll wheel on my mouse and then if you push down on your scroll wheel you can grab and move this around wherever you need to go ahead and grab your pen tool and start creating that mask around the glasses by left clicking holding to make those nice smooth bends you can always press ctrl z to undo any of your points if you need to redo them and obviously the better that you do this mask the better the transition is going to look so you're not going to see any changes for now i'm going to show you guys why first thing let's feather this out a little bit i'm going to bring mine out to about 20. it really depends on the mask that you're doing we're going to invert this now you'll see that we have this clip masked out so if we want to keep it simple we can just go ahead and open up the transform tool keyframe our position and scale and then bring our playhead out to about one frame before the end of the freeze frame and start scaling and moving the position around of the mask now you can do two things here. You can either leave the keyframes and let them end one frame before the end of the clip, or you can drag the keyframes all the way out to the end of the clip. You're going to get a different look depending on which one you do. I'll show you guys if we leave it right here, it's basically going to end the freeze frame for us. Whereas if we move the keyframes all the way out to the end, it's going to continue zooming out all the way throughout the clip. They are two different ways of doing it. For this example, I'm going to bring it all the way to the end. So now if we play through it, we have that mask transition zooming into the glasses, but we need to do a few more things to clean up that transition and make it look way better. So the first thing that we can do is we can turn on motion blur here on our freeze frame layer, which we'll turn that on as we zoom in, which makes that look way better. Then we can also highlight our keyframes and press F9, which is gonna easy ease them. And I'll even show you guys, if I drag these keyframes back one frame, you can see how it kind of cuts off at the end of the clip rather than it goes all the way out. You can decide to scale it in all the way so that the mask goes all the way out of the frame. So, you know, if we want to bring that all the way out of the frame, we just need to up this scale and move the position accordingly until the mask is pretty much all the way out of the frame. So now if we drag this all the way out and we play through it again, it's going to zoom in all the way through the glasses and go all the way out of the frame. Don't forget to turn that motion blur on and easy ease those keyframes. It'll make those transitions look way smoother and way better. So there is one thing that we could do here to spice up this transition a little bit. I'm gonna go into the transform and I'm gonna scale it down actually and move the position. And we're basically gonna scale up accordingly. So you can see we're pretty much already zoomed out. So we need to reset this. So I'm just gonna right click, reset on both the position and the scale. So now there's a little bit of movement where the second clip that we're transitioning into is kind of zoomed in and then it's zooming out to match that transition. It's a very small change, but just something that you can try adding onto your clips as well. So let's go into example number two here. We're gonna right click, replace with an After Effects composition. So again, we're gonna leave the glasses clip on the top and we're gonna come all the way out one frame before the end, duplicate it by pressing Control D. Then I'm gonna right click, create a freeze frame, drag this here. We'll make this transition a little bit longer than the last one. So same thing as last time, select your pen tool, create the mask around whichever eyeglass you wanna go into. I'm gonna use the right one for this example, just creating the mask around the lens, connect that mask. And if we go here, you'll see it doesn't look right. That's because we need to open up the mask and invert it. Let's also open this up and feather it. I'm gonna go about 15%. We can make this mask look a little better and give it an opacity keyframe. Let's drag this clip up on top of this one, bring it out one frame. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that clip, bring the opacity down to zero, keyframe it, and then bring it back to the end and just reset it which will bring it back to 100. Once you reset it back to 100, just drag this keyframe out one frame, just so there's a little bit of a change in the opacity so that mask comes in a little bit smoother. So let's open up on the freeze frame clip, the transform. Then we're gonna keyframe the position and scale, bring it almost to the end and start moving your scale around. 
And so we don't really have to zoom all the way out. As I was saying before, you can do it a few different ways. I'm gonna leave it right here so that it zooms into her face. I feel like that just looks best. Now we just have a much slower transition and we can even drag these keyframes out all the way so you guys can see the difference. So let's go ahead, turn on motion blur, which already makes that look way better. We can also highlight these keyframes, press F9. Let's bring those keyframes out to the end, see how that looks. If you do want to clean up the freeze frame mask at the end of the clip, let's go like one to two frames before the end here and just keyframe the opacity. Bring it down to zero and drag that keyframe out all the way. So now it'll zoom in and kind of just fade out at the very end so it's not as harsh of a cut. That's really a stylistic choice. I do that sometimes if I don't want the cut to look as intense. You can also F9 these as well. If you want to shorten the transition, just highlight the keyframes, drag them to the left, and just make sure you shorten. And so now the transition's even shorter. And if we want to shorten it up a little bit more, say make it only a few frames. So now you have a really quick zoom in transition. We could even make it really long, bring it all the way out here. You need to do a little bit more editing to blend that in, but that's the general gist if you want to extend the transition or shorten it. So yeah, guys, that's how I did that mask transition, zooming into the glasses. If you guys want to see a similar freeze frame transition, I did post that last week on my channel as well. If you want to go take a look at that, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. And again, guys, thank you very much for 2000 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I cannot wait to keep building this channel. If you do end up following my Instagram through this video, let me know on my Instagram DMs. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you guys in next week's video. Peace.